beautiful people and welcome back to my channel it's Katie and thank you for joining in so today we are firstly I am a hoarder so of course we are doing another makeup haul this is like my third one in like two months it's crazy I know but Price in Australia had 40% off all cosmetics last week and if you live in Australia you know how expensive makeup is so when this 40% sale off you go ham like you buy the whole shop that's what what's pretty much what I did so I brought a couple things that I knew I wanted to repurchase that I've run out of and quite a lot of few new things. So if you want to see what I got in the price line 40% off sale, just keep watching. The first category we're going to be talking about is brow products. It is a personal favourite of mine. I don't wear makeup every day, but I always fill my eyebrows. It is the one thing that I cannot stop doing. So when I knew that it was 40% off, I went and brought a lot of new brow products. The first one being an oldie but a goodie, and I already know I love this product. It is the Maybelline Brow Precise in the Soft Brown. This to me, personally, I find is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills product that is, I think, $38 over here in Australia, and this is not. It is so much cheaper, and I love it. The next one is a new, to me anyway, it is the Models Prefer Eyebrow Pencil. It comes with a spoolie at one end, and then like a retractable, almost crayon-like pencil at the other end, which kind of intrigues me. And it was very affordable, and I haven't used it before, so it's like new for me is this brand model's own it has recently as in last year just launched in australia so i haven't really tested any of their products yet but this is the model's own now brow eyebrow kit cool name actually like how it rhymes but it has a pomade or a gel a powder and a highlight as well as stencils inside i'm not going to use the stencils but i love the packaging it's so cute um this is a brand that i obviously haven't used before so i keeping an open mind about it that I used to use in my late teens as it was like going into high school. This is the Australis Oh Highbrow Brow Shaping Kit. It comes with a gel, a powder, and a highlight. Same as the models own one as I just showed you before. But this is just, I know I used to love this and I'm hoping nothing has changed and I will still love it. On to two eye products that aren't brow related. This is the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow in Supernova, which is a beautiful metallic green shade. I already own two more colours in the same formula, in the pink and the black, and I love it. The pink goes so well on my blue eyes, and the black is so cool over black eyeshadow. It's like metallic and glittery, and so cool. And I thought this hunter green would sort of have the same effect. On the recommendation of every YouTuber ever, this is the Maybelline Precise Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. is a felt tip. It claims to be waterproof, wears all day, and 100% smudge proof. They are big claims. I'm a messy eyeliner person. This took me forever today. Forever. So this is going to make it easier and not budge. Take my money. Just take my money. You see a product you want, you walk into your local price sign, you find the aisle, you find the section, you go up to grab the product and then find it sold out. That's the story of my life, especially with Astralis. It is so popular in my era. Every product just seems to be sold out of the time. And I've wanted this product for so long. So I woke up extra early on a Wednesday morning when I knew the sale was on. And I went in there and I got it. I was very impressed with myself. This is the Astralis Midas Touch Serum Primer. The name Serum Primer is what's what's been hooking me. I've been so excited to test this. It comes with a dropper applicator for one. But the actual product inside claims to be hydrating, which... I need and it has gold flakes in it which I thought would be very cool for like a luminous glowy look and you will not know unless you follow me on Instagram and see my insta stories is that I did decluttering of my entire makeup room I did film it so there will be a video coming shortly but I had to throw out some makeup that was just old and disgusting and probably growing mold on a few things so yes and one of the things I had to throw out was my L'Oreal true match foundation because it was like three years old so I picked it up again I haven't used it in so long and I'm hoping I still love it as much as I used to. I just have so many other foundations that I just can't test them all out all the time. Anything like me, when you see the Essence display cabinet at Priceline, it's pretty much your makeup collection home because I own pretty much all of Essence Cosmetics. Well, I did until I saw this guy and then I realized I don't. This is the Essence Get Picture Ready Contouring Palette. It contains three shades, obviously the neutral shade and two darker shades for contouring and bronzing. And I can't believe I haven't got this before. So I'm really excited. Again, Essence is already super affordable. So when they have 40% off, like why would you not buy it? I have been obsessed with the brand Maybelline recently. I don't even know why. I just think their products have just been going in considerably up and up 
over the last year or so. And I, they brought out this a while ago and I just haven't got it. This is the Master Blush Quad. So it has three blushes in it and I assume this is a highlight at the end unless you're really pale and then your choice. But it's coming up to autumn. Well, it's autumn right now but it feels like summer still. So this dark shade for blush will be beautiful in the winter time. This one here will be a perfect everyday shade. And I love a good highlight so I'm hoping I have high hopes for this highlight right now. Two more Maybelline products, because why not? Maybelline is just on my thing right now. I grabbed the Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. This, I think, has been raved by every beauty YouTuber out there ever. And I'm super excited to get on the bandwagon. Another product that I am so late to the game with is the Fit Me Powder. Every, like, person and their baby out there has tried this powder and loved it, except me. So I thought, yes. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm, I'm gonna be the person that tries everything on time for once. Even though I'm not. Oldie but a goodie, this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder. Not much to say about this, it's just a standard good old powder. My last powder is actually a recommendation I took from Michael Finch and Shiny Grimmin. They are amazing, amazing makeup YouTubers from Australia, which is always nice as well. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Nude. I've heard so many good things about this powder and I've just never picked it up before, which is really odd. The last two products I grabbed are both lip products. This one in particular is from Models Own, so obviously I haven't really tested this brand out before. This is the Line and Define Lip Liner in the shade Naked. Um, in my decluttering video, which will be up pretty soon, I had to throw out my all-time favourite nude lip liner because it was no longer a lip liner, it was so gross, it was melted, it was ugh, so nasty. So I was on the look for a more accessible hunt for this particular liner and this is the perfect shade. It's just a nude shade that just is your lips, but better, but like way better. And the last product for today's haul is again from Astralis Cosmetics. This is the Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Fearless, which is just a nude shade. I've just been that nude lately. I'm usually like a coloured lip person. There we have it guys, this is my Priceline 40% off cosmetic sale. If you did happen to miss out on this time round's cosmetic sale, it happens every four months, I believe, so about three times a year, which is pretty cool. So write a list of what you're after and head to the front door next time round because it will save you so much money, like crazy amounts of money. This video was not sponsored by Priceline. If you are watching Priceline, do hit me up next time to save you some money. Mm -hmm. Anyway guys, if you did like this video, thumbs it up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.